Well, welcome back to my studio. I'm working on this painting of Greece in my little burrows. This is a photograph, and I mentioned this in the previous video, but I want to just reiterate this because it's very important. I Jack and I have taking, taken tons of pictures over the years and all of our travels everywhere we've been. And I had a picture of a burrow to use for my little Jenny that we had. And um, I just didn't have the right little bowl that I wanted. And so I went to Google.com and started searching. And I found that just the most darling little precious little baby burrow and fortunately the photographer's name was right on the image it was Jackie Goodmiller so I looked her up online and Jackie Goodmiller photography went to her website and she had a contact page and I got her phone number and I gave her a call she was a delightful lady just really gracious and I told her that I had found her image on Google and that I was doing a painting of Greece and what would it cost to use it for one-time rights to use for my my painting and she said oh my goodness Mickey don't worry about that just go ahead and use it just send me a picture of the finished painting so goodness gracious I mean how wonderful, what a delightful lady, and just really, really gracious, and I appreciate that very much. So I'm using this little baby, and now I'm going to do her face. So just when you're looking for images on Google, it's a great refer reference or source for reference material for paintings, but just remember, that most of those photographs are copyrighted and you need to track down who owns the copyright, who the artist is, who the photographer is because that is a copyrighted image and you need to have permission to use it. Just because it's there on the internet doesn't mean that you can just use everything. So you have to find out whose it is. The artist and the you know, with paintings as artists and photographers are the same thing. Uh, we produce a piece of artwork and we retain the copyright to that image. Now we can sell a painting, but that doesn't mean that the person who bought the painting has rights to reproduce it. They're just buying the painting. The artist retains those usage rights. And so that's when you see artists' artwork on, like on pillows or garden flags or anything, those companies have to pay licensing fees to the artists to, to use those images. I have a licensing agent that licenses my images. And so that's something that you have to be very, very aware of. If you want to use somebody else's image that you you have to get permission. So anyway, I'm painting this little burrow and I'm using mixtures of my mud, which is two parts of ultramarine blue and one part of alizarin crimson. And that's mixed with a little cadmium orange and white for all of my all of my body colors and the body and the head. Now some of the whites like he has some little whites, she has some little whites on her ears that, right there, that little nice little furry part on their ears. That is white plus ultramarine blue and a little bit of white plus mud. And then this is actually my white. And they also have white around their eyes. I think burrows are just absolutely darling. And this little baby is just the ultimate, ultimate of darling. Your nose comes down here. She and Mama are sniffing noses. This is flower girl in training is what I think I'm going to call this. She's just a little baby, but she's already learning the ropes. 
She's following Mom around. I'm going to be doing that one day. She's real fluffy. Fuzzy. Fuzzy wuzzy. I just, I have my reference material, I have it on the laptop next to me, and I also have printed out a photograph of this little baby, and I have it taped to my, my easel. Now this is a little mixture of my mud plus liquid just to come in here and bring some darks into the again I her little she's really hairy. I mean they're they're fluffy, they're fuzzy, so I'm not making this real smooth. The light catches her little jawline there. She's real young so she doesn't have much of a prominent jaw. As they get older the, the muscles in their jaws develop. But she's just a, she's not old at all. She's just a few days old. Get some dark right in there. The little muzzle is white, or the nose is. And her rounder nostril, she's darker. And then her eyebrow appears a little lighter. I moved to a little smaller brush. I'm going to let's see if I can get the right brush I need. Now we'll start putting some of that dark in on her muzzle. She and Mama are just nuzzling. Just wants a little reassurance. Mama, am I doing it right? Tell you what, if you've never been around a baby horse or baby calf or burrow, oh my gosh, they are the sweetest things and their little noses are so soft. I mean, even a horse's muzzle is really soft, but the babies are even softer. They are just darling. Their little nostril is almost like a number six. It's not round. It's got a little, little flap of skin that comes around here. I'll make that little flap. In just a second, I want to bring a little pink into her nostril. It's just some of my pink left over from my from my Bougainvillea. I save my colors on the left side of my palette. This way, if I need to go back and make any corrections or additions or anything, I've got, already got the colors I need. I don't have to worry about mixing them or anything. Now, this little, there's a little fold of skin that comes up right in there. So you can see how I have it on the mother. And the light's going to catch this just right. Didn't get that quite light enough. Just right there. And then this, the light catches right on her. This is just a matter of kind of working back and forth. And then their little nose that kind of crinkles up in between the nostrils. Get a little fold right in there. I'm going to make this side of her face a little bit bluer so it rounds out and we see it against the basket. I'm bracing my hand, I think you can see it in there, I'm bracing against my mall stick so that you can, you can see this. And the mall stick is there and I brace against the mall stick and this steadies my hand so I can come back in and do all this little fine detail work. Now I'm going to do her eye. I'll show you the Jack White 
eye technique that just really gives a lot of soul to the eye. I block it in all the way with mud. I want to this down. Now this is going to be a little bit lighter here. eye comes up just a tiny bit more. She's in here. There we go. I need a little blue down here underneath. There we go. And then we're going to need a little dark Okay, now this needs to be a little bit lighter right here. There we go. Okay, now I take a fine, what we call a fine liner brush or script brush. And I'm going to put, the light is coming in from the upper left, so the catch light you can see on the, the mother catch light and then there's a light illuminates the iris. So we're going to do the catch light first and the light's coming in from the upper left. So it's going to be about 11 o'clock in the eye. And then there's a crescent of color on the iris where the light then hits the other side of the, across the eye down on the lower portion. I got that a little bit big. So I just come back in with my mud. smaller. I want a little highlight then this her brow. is lighter. And then she also has a little more light right in here. The sun's hitting some of that, that thick hair on her forehead. And then she's got a white highlight then on the top of her nose. right here. A little on the side of the nose. So that's how we paint our little full space. We need to bring a highlight right here, the rim of her nostril. This is darker here. Let me highlight that nostril a little bit better with my finer brush. And this light needs to come back here just a little bit more follows this. There we go. All right. I really appreciate you watching my YouTube videos. Please follow along. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also have a blog where I show the step-by-step, -step, complete step-by-step -step process of this. 
and other paintings I do. The link is in the description below. It's also the address is on the final frame of my YouTube video. So thank you again. I really appreciate it. And you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And just today, when you're talking with people, just remember to be very encouraging. Help somebody. If they've got a problem, stop and take a minute and just listen. Listen and be encouraging. And just have a wonderful, wonderful day. And thank you again.